There's a lot of advice I could pass on to you after spending 33 years in the Baltimore Police Department. Due to the shortness of time, I'll just offer you a single point of advice. Keep God first. Three short words with a powerful meaning. Keep God first. Your faith is going to be tested every day of your career. But if you keep God first, you'll be all right. Know for sure that your Lord is in control of all affairs and able to do all things. When you are at your lowest point, call on your Lord. When you are at your highest point, let your Lord be the first one you thank. The people around you will change. You may even change, but your Lord will never change. The same creator who made the heavens and the earth is the same creator that woke you up this morning. The same Lord and creator who sent the prophets and messengers to the earth is the same Lord and creator who will judge you on the day of judgment. So keep God first. I want to share with you a brief story uh, that will summarize this point. Then I got to get out of here. When I was hired in September 1987, I was assigned to the Central Records Division in the headquarters building. My first day was on the midnight shift. I was so happy to wear that BPD uniform that I got up at about 8 p.m got dressed and sat on my steps in full uniform until it was time to go to work. I walked to work that night from the 300 block of North Bruce Street to the 500 block of East Fayette Street. My travel took me through the Lexington Terrace housing projects, which at that time was not a good place to be after dark. When I entered the 700 block of Saratoga Street, outside the high-rise building, I could see and hear the sound of batteries crashing against the concrete around me. Every time a battery struck the ground, sparks would fire from the concrete and illuminate the darkness. To really get an understanding of the danger I had placed myself in, you would have to picture in your mind the Saratoga Street High Rise. The Saratoga Street High Rise was a building, a concrete building that encompassed nearly an entire city block. And it stood around 14 stories high. Except for a tree or two, there was nothing on the block to stop the people in the apartments above from striking you with whatever they could throw out of their windows. By the time I reached the end of the 700 block of Saratoga Street, not one of those batteries was able to strike me by the mercy and permission of my Lord. I didn't know it then, but this experience would be a microcosm of my 30 plus years in the Baltimore Police Department. Through it all, I kept God first. No matter what happened, I kept God first. As I write the final lines of the final chapter of a career that spans more than three decades, I am able to smile with my head up and speak truthfully about any incident that involved me without fear humiliation or embarrassment because I kept God first. I must admit that I struggle at times to be a good servant to my Lord, but despite my slips and falls, I have never been forsaken by my Lord. He has never forsaken me. 
and he has been the orchestrator of every success and failure in my personal and professional life. So my advice to you is keep God first. Farewell, dear friends. Say thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for parents. Thank you for love. Thank you for kindness. Thank you for humility. Thank you for peace. Thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. That's why I, why I am, one of the reasons why I am today. Say thank you in advance for what is already yours. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. I'll say it again. True desire in the heart, that itch that you have, whatever it is you want to do, that thing that you want to do to help others and to, to grow and to make money, that desire, that itch, that's God's proof to you sent beforehand already to indicate that it's yours. And anything you want good, you can have. So claim it. Work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back. Pull someone else up. Each one, teach one. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference.